to set up the panel head, first thing you want to do is roughly level the tripod. Then attach the, uh, the head. In this case I have a quick release clamp which makes it a little easier. So we just screw that in there. Then we want to use the bubble level on the head to align it, to make it perfectly level. So that's about right. And we'll just rotate the head a couple of stops and check that it's still level. That's great. Now we add the camera. Now the first alignment we have to make is the lower rail. We want to get the centre of the lens over the central rotation point of the pano head. So we do that by adjusting this knob. And as you can see I can move it in until it's roughly central over the rotation point. And then the easiest way to check is to rotate the camera up through 90 degrees so that it's straight down. Just like that. And then we can look through the viewfinder and check as we rotate that the central point stays within the uh, center point of the viewfinder. So the second adjustment we need to make is to set the upper rail point. And to do that we need two objects. One that's close to the camera and one that's further away. And what we want to do is to look through the viewfinder and line up the close object with the far object on one side of the frame. Then rotate the camera around until you can see them on the other side of the frame and you can check whether they're still in alignment or not. In this case they're not because the lens is too far back. So I'll push it forward a bit and then try again. And as you rotate from side to side you should see the two moving either closer or further away. And with a little bit of trial and error you'll have a good solution. So this is now aligned. So I can lock down the, the rails and make a note of the positions for next time.